Inter Milan preparing here to be a part of the opening act of another major European club season. An epic tale lies ahead of footballing drama to unwind over the course of the next 10 months. One where the central cast, both team and individual, will get to write their own story should they survive long enough. This episode one. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. We hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional road. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. we go then Jim who do you reckon is pivotal yeah Stefan de Vrij he's a, a very clever central defender whose positioning and reading of the game are second to none the way he seems to just know where a pass is headed and he steps in to make the interception it's very impressive he's very good on the ball too Peter and always looking to contribute towards the build-up play yes he'd be my pick too it's gonna to be all about how they get the best out of him. That's gone a long way up and away. Barrera. Stefan de Vrij. Skrinja. Handanovic tries lifting it over. Forward it goes. Perardi, Hartland gets on the end of it. Barrera doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Now it's Perardi. Perardi opts to play it back. That's a good ball to find him. Barrera. Pretty cagey early on from both sides. Brozovic. Out to the left it goes. And it's Pacino. Going through. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempt, zero goals and uh, excitement. Forget it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Pacino. Ferrari. Chelsea have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Brozovic. Pacino. And it's Brozovic. Hector Bayerin. Chiesa did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Barrera. Skrinja. Stefan de Vrij. Vecino. Jovic. Jovic spreads it towards the left. 
Jorginho. Conte. Kovacic. Raspilicueta. Raspilicueta goes looking. Barrera. Hector Bellerin. Emerson. Kovacic. Hoist it forward. Conte. Over to the left. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Alex Tellez. And it's played forward. And here's Bayerin. Berardi tries to get it forward quickly. And he's straight offside. Barrera tries to stroke it through. Well played, he saw that coming. Alex Tellez. Thiago Silva. First 45 minutes are up. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the first half? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And the game has already resumed here. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully, they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. And there's a long ball. Done very well to intervene. And that is as far as they're going to go. Looks to clip it forward. Decent looking ball. Jovic! It's Alex Teller. Tries a shot! And he's done it! A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Yeah, and it's not a surprise to see him elect to shoot from there, considering how much movement can be generated on the ball. Great hit. So we have our breakthrough. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Rudiger. Kovacic drives it forward. As Piliqueta. As Piliqueta conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Alex Tellez. 
Jovic. And it's Lukaku. Quarter of an hour into the second half. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Emerson. Conte. Looks to bypass the midfield. The Fry gets into the right position to intercept. Alex Tellez looking to get on the end of this. How many interceptions have we seen now? Someone's got to up the quality and, and set an example. Mercino. Jovic threads one through. And it's Pacino. And here's Brozovic. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Chelsea are making a change now. Chiesa. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out muscle. Hits one! It didn't come off, but an audacious effort. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort. I mean, it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. And it's Alex Tellez. Alex Tellez, who has made his impact already. Inter are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Hector Bellerin goes up and over. Jorginho gets good distance on it. Skrinja. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Played back in. And here's Bellerin. Brozovic. Pacino. Inter are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Skriniar gets it back. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Jorginho. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Thiago Silva. Hartland pushes to get on the end of it. Skriniar proves too strong there. Plays a clever pass. And that's that. Inter Milan starts as they wanted to start. All three points. The first three points, crucially. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, they've laid down a marker with...